My name is Mary Pate, and uh, I'm a member of Holy Souls Parish here in Little Rock. And I've been a member of our ongoing prayer team out here at the abortion clinic since 2008 when Little Rock hosted our first 40 Days for Life prayer campaign. And um, from that prayer campaign uh, resulted in a small group of us who've come out now on a regular basis throughout the year, three and four days a week when the abortion clinic is doing abortions. And we just pray. Uh, some of us have been through uh, training and we are we are called sidewalk helpers and we try to reach out to the girls who are coming in and offer them assistance. Let them know that St. Joseph's Helpers, a pregnancy resource center, is right behind, uh, across the street behind us here and that all their services are free. The other people who come out were asked to just stand and pray silently and give us the spiritual support that we need when we're doing our counseling. So what we are looking for is to build up that prayer army and ask people to join us just one hour a week or one hour a month even. Just come out and pray. All you're required to do is, is, is pray. You don't have to speak or do anything else. And, um, the reason we are looking to build up our prayer presence is because of the number of young women going in here to abort their babies. We feel like the more people we have out here on the sidewalk praying, the more successful this ministry can be. And um, there are saves. You know, people might think, well, I don't know what good I can do by coming out, but every week we have one or two saves. Just yesterday I was out here counseling and a young Hispanic girl with her mother came to the abortion clinic and I was able to talk to them briefly before going in and when she came back out uh, I asked her if she would just accompany me across the street to St. Joseph's and, and get some help for her and her baby and she agreed and I took her inside and left her there and, and we hope and pray that they stay and, and they don't return to the abortion clinic so there are saves this is something that you can actually help save a life. You know, there are not many things that we can do where we can actually help save a life. And I feel like just being out here, silently praying, there are probably a lot more babies saved than we're even aware of. Um, I'm sure there are many girls who don't stop at the driveway and tell us they changed their minds or thank us for being but they have probably made a decision to leave this place and not come back. So, um, you know, I just want people to know that it's a, it's a good ministry. It's a ministry that we're called to, and I believe that if, if God is calling you to come out and just give one hour at a time and pray with us, that uh, you'll find it a very rewarding ministry. Uh, whether you see a save or not is not the point. But I suspect if you're here very long, you would, <laughs> as I did yesterday, completely surprised when this young woman agreed to meet with me. And uh, we had two last week. So, um, as I said, it's worthwhile. And even if we don't know if baby's saved or see them, we feel like God wants us here because abortion is a tragedy and it needs to be stopped. And until the church comes out here in mass, I don't know that it can be. People need to know that, that they're loved and cared for and there is help for them. And I think a lot of the girls that come here probably in very stressful situations and feel like this is their only, only choice. So, you know, I try to tell them if, if you're under pressure to be here, that's no choice at all. So it's all about love and just reaching out to girls in love. We're not protesters. We're not picketers. We're, you know, we're just people who come out to pray. And that's what we're trying to do is to, to grow this ministry and the prayer presence here at the sidewalk.